All right, Jeff is with us in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hi, Jeff. How are you? Hi, Dave. Thank you so much for taking my call. I really appreciate your time. We're honored. How can we help? Well, I'm 56 years old, and uh, we're in baby step seven. And I heard you say something recently that got me to thinking, and that is that Social Security basically is a break even if that. And I was wondering what the advantages or disadvantages would be like if I were to take out my Social Security uh, as early as I can, 62, 65, whatever the age is, 62. and invest that money. Instead if you of take it at 62 and invest it and don't touch it, you'll end up with more money. Yes, sir. That's what will happen. That's my question. Yeah. So the difference in what you get paid if you wait to 65 versus 62 would be made up for in the investment that you create by investing everything from 62 to 65. You take all that, put it in a lump sum, that lump sum will pay more than it would pay extra if you wait. Oh, and when you die, that money is in your estate. When you die with Social Security, it disappears. Magical government yeah. math. <laughs> yeah, just gone. Poof. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Social Insecurity System gives you a negative rate of return. It is an absolute governmental disaster. Think DMV runs retirement program. Now you got it figured out, okay? This is what's going on. And, oh, and so, well, it was never designed to be a retirement program. It was designed to be a supplemental. Yeah, it's designed to be supplemental, and a whole bunch of people are living on it because we've raised a couple of generations now that think the government is so smart they're going to take care of you. And if you wait on the government to take care of you, your life is always going to suck. So he's right, just really smart to ask that question and say, I'm not going to count on Social Insecurity when I get to retirement because I'm going to have actually saved some of my own money. Oh, and when I do get the money from the government, I'll never get as much out as I have put in. That means you have a negative rate of return. You don't even get out as much as you put in unless you just live to 192, mm. you know? And so you're, you're, it's a negative rate of return. They are sucking the blood out of the American public continually with this disaster of a program. Nobody going to do anything about it, though. But I'll whine a little. It's good for me. Yeah. Helps my